qualitative uh, sample is quite um, interesting, I think. Um, first of all, how did I come to uh, divide up my age cohorts uh, um, along the lines of youth, middle adults and senior adults? And why did I have a cut-off point at 50 plus? Um, since I've turned 50, I'm kind of wanting to move that upwards a little bit, um, but uh, really that makes a lot of sense in countries like Gambia, uh, where life expectancy is still only in the region of 55 uh, to 57 years old. Um, the alert student in our midst and I will also note that there's quite a lot of unevenness in terms of uh, numbers of women and men in the sample, and there's a decided female bias, but this is partly uh, to do with the fact that you cannot force people to turn up to focus group discussions. And just as an example, one of the focus groups we convened um, uh, with the team uh, in northwest Costa Rica was a, a parent teachers association in a community called Via Real. And so the parents of the children were supposed to turn up, and in fact, it was only the mothers that came, uh, which I think actually says an awful lot about where the sense of respons responsibility uh, for dependence uh, lies. Okay, so that's uh, my uh, sample such as it is. And I think I also just ought to spend a couple of minutes talking about my choice of case study uh, locations. Why the Gambia, uh, Philippines and Costa Rica? Well, um, clearly I wanted to interrogate the idea of a, a sort of global feminization of poverty by at least taking a country from each major region of the global south.